Hey YouTube, Mike here. How are we all doing? It's been a while, but I am walking, I am jumping, um, I recuperated very well. Uh, it's still bothering me, the leg. Um, I can't kneel. Uh, there's certain things I can't do, but I can bend it, I can stand on it, I'm standing on one leg. It's amazing how better I feel. Um, I gotta wait. They said it could be up to a year before I can fully recuperate from it. They um, they stretch the leg because the leg is about a half inch shorter when it was bone on bone. So they kind of stretch the tendons and the ligaments, and that's what's bothering me. Like driving in my van uh, bothers me a lot. Uh, in my my um, my new truck, my Tacoma, I just bought. Uh, it's it's good because to see we drove to Jersey for our niece uh, is pregnant. This is uh, like the first great grandbaby for my mother-in-law, and um, we all well my wife and my oldest daughter drove and my other kids flew, and the drive was perfect because the seats really nice. So yeah, it's um, it's been a long road, but uh, I'm back. I still with the medicine because they messed me up with my diabetes. Uh, and they have to still do the stem cell on my shoulder. My shoulder's still killing me. But the meds that they give me, um, I really can. I'm back to work, but like I can't use heavy machinery and stuff just because of the meds. I can drive, um, but I got about another week or two before I'm off those meds and then I'll be back. So I'm like biting at the bit because I got so much. As you can see, the garage is, the workshop is a mess. A mess. I bought a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff I want to review. Really cool Milwaukee tools. Um, I just, you know, bought a bunch of stuff. Um, I was able to, uh, we got a room upstairs, which I'll give you a tour on. I built this room for my wife for her wreath business. Put a whole pack out wall system up. Gave her a toolbox, a workbench, did the closet, put a slot wall up. Um, I wanted to video it, but we had to do it in so much small segments it would have been a ton of videos. I want to get this table finished. I just got so much and I bought, and I'll show you, I bought, um, I got rid of my Tundra and I bought um, that Tacoma, that blue Tacoma. It's a TRD 4x4 off-road. Um, I didn't want a pro, too much, too many things in it. I just didn't want it. So it's a really nice truck. It's smaller, but um, I uh, I like it. I, I like it. I kind of set it up for trails. I got a roof rack right here, a pin pinsu roof rack I got to put on. I got a whole molly system for the bed. Um, I got a ton of stuff that I got to still put a radio, Midland radio I want to put in. My wife doesn't want to do no camping out of it, but I did do a tonneau cover on it. So we're just going to hit trails. I got this thing Onyx Off-Road, which is on my iPhone and my iPad. And we'll just, we know trails, we'll go on these trails, stop, have some lunch, and continue a little off-road, 4x4. Nothing, nothing too hard. I don't think she wants to do it. But what I did is, you know, all know I got in, I'm into RC big time. And I know a lot of you, my of you subscribers out there, are also into RC. But I got into, you know, I was a big slot car guy. And I built those slot car boxes that I built a couple of boxes. I showed you boxes. You've seen them on Instagram. Well, I always wish that those slot cars were radio controlled. Well, guess what? Back when COVID started, I found these cars from Kyosho. They're called Mini Zs. And they're 128 scale. So this is a body that I just painted. And now I got a clear coat. That's how small it is. It's radio controlled. We race on the foam, the two foot by two foot foam. But there's a company that makes tracks from like 60 feet long to 20 feet long by whatever width. And they got the turns, the in and out. It's, all, it's what they call on road. And I got into it. I found a track locally. And the owner of the track and his father are also off-roader guys that go on trails with, with the, the wife and the girlfriend. So I, I have two other trucks that I can do it with. And I just like fell in love with this RC um, because it's, it's a slot car and you run it with your radio. And it's amazing. And when I went to Jersey, I was bringing a car to build in the hotel. 
Well, a couple of days, we, we was at our one year anniversary of the track and the owner's like, this other owner's like, why don't you look up and see if there's a track near you? Well, guess what? Where we were staying in Jersey was like right over the border of New York. Um, on the other side, 12 minutes away was a track. So I loaded up a drone bag with two of my cars and a bunch of stuff and we weren't really doing much because we were waiting for the kids to come in and and a little bit of like the, my niece who was pregnant had a, she works for Apple so she had to fly to California so we were in the hotel so I'm like I got so for three days I went there met the guys and went racing with them so it was really nice um, it was fun I you know two three hours I spent there I didn't want to spend so much time come back and spend time with, with my wife and and my daughter um, until my kids came in and then. Um, it was it was a nice trip, um, but I got sick as a dog, man. I got some, you know, it was down cold there, and I really I brought warm clothes, but I didn't wear them right away, and I I caught this like terrible head cold. So um, yeah, no, it's been it's been uh, it's been a road, um, but I, I I there's there's this thing that I've been meaning, you know, while I was recuperating, I've been on YouTube a lot looking at stuff, messaging people that are in the same that I have, you know, that I do with the wood shop. But, you know, they're, they're a mass, and I don't know how you, Pete, my subscribers out there that subscribe to other channels, but to me, you know, if, you, if you're not a big time, like a supporter or a channel person, like that has more than, you know, like me, what do I got, 17,500, which I am like flabbergasted that I got that many and 16,000 something on my other channel, my Renai, my uh, Tankless channel. I just, I'm flabbergasted by that. But, you know, I message people, you know, I ask them a question, hey, uh, I see this uh, thing in the background, um, and no answer. Even another guy, he's got like almost, he's got like 2.2 million, now I ain't naming names. He's, he's got like 2.2 million subscribers. And, he was in the same line of emergency service as I was. Um, you know, he was an emergency service person. Not the same, he was similar, but we were still emergency responders. So I messaged him because there was something that I was interested in what he was doing and I wanted to know maybe we can email or even talk. Like I know I've talked to a lot of you guys when you asked a question, but I just can't do it over email. Here's my number, call me. Well. I messaged this guy numerous times, not one friggin' response, and I even told him that I was an ex-chief, so that we were in the, like the same type of emergency service. Nothing, not, not a thing, and, and that, that really like bugs me, and this has been going on for a while, but something happened while I was recuperating, I was still heavily into messaging. Um, you know, answering the messages through my tankless channel, that tankless guy. And back probably, oh God, it had to be four plus years ago, I drove to Lebanon, Indiana to the Festool um, Open there. And I, a couple of, well, quite a, a couple of your, my subscribers came and they knew I was going. They stayed in the same hotel. We, we met in the bar, we met in the restaurant, we went to the Open that they had and that they have in a bar. And during the walkthrough, when we were walking through for the convention there, there was a guy that I knew, and at the time he had 100 plus thousand subscribers, and I, hey, how you doing? And you know, we have talked. Um, hey, it's a pleasure meeting you. We like to exchange stickers. And he's like, oh, I only got three stickers left. Um, and I, I gotta give them to these other people. So I'm like, uh, okay, you know, whatever. Here's my sticker. He took it. Thank you. We shook hands. We walked away. And I'm like, wow, that's pretty shitty. For one, if you're that big, why are you not bring a whole big box of stickers? Put them in your backpack, which he had. So that went with that. And then even the companies. Now, I want you to remember what about this guy. Because this is what, what really got me about oh, three weeks ago. This guy. So let remember that. You know, even like Festool, as you could see, 
none of this is given. It's all bought by me. I show it on my channel. I sell it. They have this open where they're showing all the new tools and I don't even get a call from the, the trainer who I know very well. Hey, would you like to come down to this? You know, I got to get there. I got to stay in a hotel. It's on me. It's on me. But, you know, not even an invite. And the, the videos that I see, they're all people with, you know, a half a million either on Instagram followers or, you know, so not even a call. Not like, hey, I couldn't go. I was recuperating. But then, you know, that tankless company that I was doing stuff for, you know, they just used me during COVID. And I, I got to be honest with you. They used me during COVID. It, it was just, you know, and then they bring in other people, a builder that's got, you know, 1.5 million subscribers. And he puts Renai's in his houses. He does videos and he absolutely has no idea what he's doing. And, you know, th this is why it's kind of like I'm venting because it really bugged me. And it bugged me again with this guy that I mentioned that only had three stickers. So I get a message on my, I get a, uh, not a message, excuse me, I get an email. Well, no, sorry, 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 I got a message first. Now, you know if you message me and you have a channel or you have a profile, your picture or profile shows up. It could be your face, it could be your pet, it could be a car, it could be anything that you want to put on your profile. So, I see the email <clears throat> and I read the email. But then I went and, and looked at and I see there's a, a, a message through uh, YouTube. So I click on it. And because he kind of said the same words of the problem. And I look and guess what? It's that guy. That guy that only had three stickers because his profile is there. So I message him. I, and and it was, this was honest. This wasn't blatant so I can rub it in his face. I needed to talk to the guy because I cannot answer his question with his problem with his tankless heater over messaging or, or email. So I give him my phone number. I tell them to call me between these hours when I'm available because I didn't have PT, I didn't have the doctor or nothing. So, and the times are like between like five and six o'clock at night. After dinner, I'm outside having a cigar. I can do the talking, he calls me. So I tell him hello. And so I ask him a whole bunch of questions. And he's like, listen, I'm very handy. Um, can you walk me through this? I said, okay, you got the cover off. Then we FaceTime. It took about, say 30 minutes. I had the thing up and running. Oh my God, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's amazing. I can't believe that you, you know, you sent me your number. I says, yeah, well, I says, I don't think you remember me. I says, you watch my videos? He goes, yeah. I go, do you notice where I do my videos? He goes, yeah, you got this, the studio. I said, no, 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 my older ones, the ones that pertain to Renai. Oh, yeah, 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 what do you do? I said, I'm Mike's wood shop. And there's a big hesitation. He goes, really? I go, yeah. The guy you only had three stickers for at the festival convention? And there's another big hesitation. And I thought he hung up the phone. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I says, well, I, I just want to, I said, I've messaged you numerous times. I says, and I guess I'm going to vent to you. I go, you know, just because I only have a certain amount of subscribers and you have a hundred times more, you know, th th you could answer these questions. I do. And yes, I don't have, well, you know, if I, I said, but you know certain people and you know who I am and you, you didn't realize it because I only have a tankless on my profile, on my tankless channel. I don't have my 9-11s. Uh, flag raising of the three firemen. I said, so people know me by that because they know I'm an ex-fire chief. And, and I, I apologize. And then I got, a, I got an email from them, again, apologizing and all, which was nice. And I got a sticker. I got stickers right here. I got a sticker on my wall. 
I didn't throw it in the garbage. I put his sticker right up on my thing there. Like I said, I'm not naming names, but that really got me. You know, just to show to him. And I didn't like message him with no baloney questions so I could see he messaged me back. I'm not playing those games, but I just wanted to let this guy know that, you know, we, we answer our, our things. Now, you might like also with my tankless channel, it's a lookup channel. And I had a guy that I helped probably about two and a half or so years ago. And at the time I only had about maybe 8,000, 9,000 subscribers. And he owned a business that did like YouTube stuff, Instagram stuff, Twitter, Facebook, websites. He had a big, big out of Nevada. And I mean, he did big corporations. I think he had like 60 people working for him. And after, uh, after he did this thing, I, I talked to him again. I FaceTimed him and he said, listen, I did a little research. He goes, you know, you got close to a half, a, like you would have a half a million subscribers with the amount of subscribers you have for your channel. And the amount of questions that I get through, I get like 70 a week. And I answer pretty much, a lot of them it could, could be just thank you because I, the, the video fixed the problem. But most of them, it takes about a week or so and I do answer them. Uh, you know, I answer them wherever, sitting on the toilet, you know, waiting uh, for something, to, you know, in, in the bank or whatever. I'll just answer the questions. But it just got me, you know, with this Festool thing and, and then just just the companies, you know, that you that you message and, you know, because you don't have a zillion subscribers, they, you know, you're nothing. But you're selling their product, you're fixing their product, you're helping their product and you're doing it for free. And, you know, I was even accused by that tankless company, by the trainer, the head trainer, that I'm making a ton of money off this channel. And at the time, I couldn't make money off the channel because it was a copyright infringement. So for two and a half years, I made zip from YouTube. Zip from YouTube off of that channel. It was just the Woodshop channel. So, you know, and then at a Zoom meeting we had over this thing, I confronted this guy and I told him. I told him the whole facts and I embarrassed him to hell. But I don't care. You know, I do, I speak the truth, I speak my mind. And, you know, I'm still doing what I got to do. I appreciate all you people out there. I appreciate all of the well wishes and the, and the get wells that I received from you. Thank you very much. That and my family, my wife, greatly from the bottom of my heart appreciate that. And I got tons of them. So I'm back. Um, and I got a lot of projects. I got a lot of cleanup to do first. But I'm back. I'll be putting videos out on both channels. Uh, the way I'm supposed to because I can stand, I can walk, I can walk upstairs. Um, it's just like I said, very hard to kneel. I can't kneel on it. Uh, they said I won't be able to kneel on it. Maybe never. It may not feel right. Uh, but uh, it clicks like crazy too, the knee. You got to hear me when I walk, I click. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like part cyborg. They <laughs> said. But um, no, and then once they get this shoulder thing, done i'll be i'll be going good so yeah i've been um like this i've been building stuff like this just you know quickly uh, for my um uh little um rock crawlers different uh, like a teeter totter which i gotta figure out I, I glued it on but it didn't hold i got a little like this thing and then i built this bridge and i was gonna put it outside and, and run it, but I've just been running it in the garage here, turned the AC on for a while, set up a little course, I set up some wood, and I have my little small rock rollers go over. It's just, you know, but now that I found this mini Z-Track, I go Thursdays and Saturdays at like two o'clock to about six, seven o'clock. I go racing there. I have to bring my own chair. I sit down, I have a chair in the truck, bring my box and stuff and set it up and, and we do our shtick. So, all right, YouTube, um, uh, again, I'd like to thank everybody for just waiting for me to get back. Um, I'm back, and I'll be, I'm going to do a quick cleanup of this area, and then I got a lot of reviews to do, a lot of tools I bought and stuff, and 
Um, like I said, I'll show you the wife's uh, um, uh, wreath room. It's still under construction. She's still uh, building it, uh, getting it set up. But she's she's got some stuff that she's done. So, alrighty. Um, again, thank you for all of the likes, the subscribes. You know, just hit that subscribe button, hit that like. It, it helps my algorithms greatly. And I'm back, and I will see you on the next video. And we'll start doing a bunch of reviews. And I got I got to finish that that um, uh, the little table I'm building, and I got a bunch of stuff I got to do. All right, YouTube. Um, Again, thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.